Welcome to this Easter uh, episode. Uh, I'm Marie Louise from Sweden, uh, Marie Looniting on YouTube and on Instagram. I want first to say thank you so much for all the response from my for my first episode two weeks ago. That made me very happy and encouraged me to continue uh, trying to speak English and doing English podcasts as well. Um, I want you to know that my English sounds much better in my head than when it comes out of my mouth. Um, uh, English is my second language, I would say, but Spanish has been the language that has um, taken the second language place since I've been living in South America uh, for four years. <clears throat> well, I will try to uh, speak up clearly and uh, I'm not going to apologize for any incorrect uh, pronunciations or word um, verbs or anything like that. Well, <clears throat> this is the last day of the Easter break for our children. And uh, finally, the spring is here. Uh, that's why my eyes are a little bit small because the sun is shining and um, the birds are singing and uh, flowers are popping up in the grass so um, <clears throat> I've had a little bit of, of a break as well although I've been working uh, three half days this past week um, yeah I'm wearing today the true will sweater <clears throat> uh, this is until today the most fun knit I ever done it's um, in Rauma Finul and in Campus uh, to play um, and I think these colors matches the the weather and the uh, Easter and everything and I've been um, uh, starting another Treville uh, sweater uh, that I will show you later yeah this is my porch. Here I sit and knit uh, almost every day uh, when it's warm and um, I have my sofa and I have my things surrounded. <laughs> yes, uh, it's been cold here and that's why um, my uh, only finished object has been very much used during Easter. This is Restgarns Koftan. Yeah, I asked the designer if she had an English name for it, but she hadn't. Uh, and if I just translate it, it's uh, the scrappy cardigan or scrappy yarn cardigan. Um, <clears throat> it's too warm to wear today. I will put in pictures uh, so that you can see how it is uh, wearing it. And it's it's a a lovely project where you use up your scraps. Um, it's um, thick DK and uh, m some kind of mohair um, that you put together and um, I've been using well let's be honest um, this isn't scraps they will be scraps uh, there are um, at least stash yarn 
but there are several projects here that I'm not finished yet but I think I have enough yarn so that I can use it up for a scrappy cardigan. Uh, the main yarn is uh, Järbo uh, Swedish Wool 3-ply. You can use that as uh, instead of Let Loopy, for example. And 3-ply um, Swedish Wool, it's uh, a quality from Järbo uh, that I'm using a lot very much you will see some other projects I've used this black with the surreal alpaca and this orange and yellow uh, down here in the arm I've used it with a yarn called Midnight Soul that is almost that's not uh, mohair it's alpaca but it's turning out like mohair and you can absolutely use it instead of mohair. And then this uh, lilac yarn, I've been used drops uh, mohair, uh, hid mohair. Yes, this is a long cardigan. You work from uh, um, bottom up and it's a raglan construction. Uh, I've been coordinating my colors. That's not very typically me, but I I did it. But a lot of other that have made this uh, have done it in, well, you know, until the yarn um, ends. Uh, this was a test knit for Emily Brandén and uh, you you will find a lot of uh, different projects in Ravelry or in Instagram as well, uh, on Instagram as well. And um, yeah, I've been wearing, wearing this a lot. Maybe I should have done a smaller size, but uh, since it's going to be a cozy cardigan, um, it's totally fine, although the arms and the armhole is very, very deep. But that's part of the design, Emily says. So this came out a week ago, uh, just for Easter. And um, uh, there is currently a cal uh, that is using scrappy yarns. She's also made a version in Nutiden uh, that is a, a yarn that I've never used. It's out of my... Um, it's too expensive for me. Um, but um, yeah, you could use any scrap as, uh, actually. I love this and it will be worn a lot. Yes, I should have uh, like five more projects uh, finished this um, this weekend, but um, I've been starting projects instead. But I will show you um, some of the things and just to make it like a... Uh, that next time I show it, it will be done. Yeah, it's a little bit ridiculous. Let's take the small project first. This is a mitten. Um, Tyresta mitten. And I have done half of the other mitten. So, what is it? like two hours and this will be finished. I'm working this in uh, Rauma Finul and it's a pattern that hasn't come out yet but it's from Maya Åkerström. Tyresta mitten. 
well, I need to finish this and it's a quick knit. Uh, well, it's not a quick knit, but I have so little left, so it should be quick. I'm not a sock knitter, <clears throat> but I like to have um, woolly socks on me and handmade socks. So this is one uh, half finished object and I've turned the heel on the other one. So this as well should be a very quick knit to finish. This is the zigzag sock and it's a free pattern on Ravelry. Very easy to memorize. And I'm knitting it up in the <clears throat> bamboo raggy from Yerbo. Yeah, I am working on a sweater to to my sister. I showed this last episode, and I'm on Sleeve Island. Yeah, this is knitting up really fast, and I should. Well, it's two hours on this, and it's fine. It's finished as well. Um. So I will talk more about that when it's finished. And this finally is a test knit for the West Trans sisters. It's the Jackie baseball jacket. And when I first saw it on Instagram, uh, I knew directly that I wanted to knit this. And uh, I signed up for the test knit that that finish line ended yesterday but since I'm working on the one of the largest sizes I hope they can forgive me and let me uh, work I'm almost finished I have the pockets that's the only thing I have left um, what I will show you because this is not released yet is the lovely, lovely, lovely color gray. This is also Swedish wool, Yarbo uh, three ply. And I just loved knitting up these, these arms, these sleeves. And um, yeah, this will be a baseball jacket. A knitted baseball jacket uh, and um, yes it takes some time to knit this because it's a lot of fabric um, but I'm using I have a, a lot some cardigans in this uh, wool that I've knitted up and I'm using it as a jacket uh, for during the winter as well because I put wool on wool and I'm not freezing although it's it can be cold here so I will show this um, when it's finished and released but you it's a pattern in English uh, I've been testing the English oh, no it's not just released in English yes uh, and this as well, uh, I've tested the English version for the, um, the pattern. I have a hashtag, uh, or two hashtags, one in Swedish and one in English that uh, I encourage people to use during this year to 2023 and it is knit address 2023. Um, I've already knitted one, it took a year um, and it's called Elo dress. I will show a picture of it here and I'm 
I'm having uh, two other dresses on my way uh, as whips right now and uh, in my thoughts, in my um, fantasy I have uh, at least three more dresses that I want to knit. The Elo dress was knitted in, was knit in uh, 3.25 millimeter uh, needle uh, and that takes a while I know. Uh, right now I am working on a l l lot bigger needle. This is the Mayre dress by Vera, Mer Vera Valimäki. You know the Finnish girl that is working with Jochi Locatelli as well. They have released a lot of um, e books um, called Interpretation 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. I think 8 is the last one. Um, but Vera Verimäki, she also released um, a book, I think in 2021, called Stripes. It's the publish, um, uh, Line Publish magazine that has published that book. And um, uh, it uh, contains a lot of, um, well, every pattern is striped in some way. And in that uh, book, there is a dress called Mayre. And right now, Vera is, try is um, uh, having a call, Cal, a knit along in, on his Instagram. And I'm joining that knit along. And well, I'm not that far, but I'm very pleased. And you can look up the Finnish knitting stories. She is doing a scrappy version. Um, I am doing my my uh, dress in Rauma Fivel, Le Fivel. I don't know. It's a new yarn, yarn from uh, Rauma, and it is uh, not that heavy. It's it's gonna be a light but warm uh, garment. So this one I'm working on a lot and it's I found out that um, the patterns from Vera is very they are very clever um, like this one has a construction where you start in the back and you do increases along the back it's very easy to remember but it's very well it's smart i treated myself with some uh, uh, easter egg you could say and uh, purchased this lovely yarn turning out a little dark uh, it's from my favorite diary here in Sweden. Uh, she, her name is uh, Hanna. Hanna Gontanten, Hanna the yarn lady, and uh, she, every Friday she has an update on sh on her website with the Friday yarn she calls it, and this is um, yarns that she. I think she's been uh, playing a lot with and it's uh, um, a one-of-a-kind yarn. So I got three skeins of this and I've already skeined up one of them because I got an idea. So instead of finish my whips I skinned up this by hand this morning 
and I have found in my stash three green and one red skein that I hope will go well with this. The red skein I bought in Amsterdam and when I was there last summer it's Mominoki yarn and the green one is Hanna the Friday yarn I bought several years ago and has been laying around in my stash for a while and I'm thinking of striping this uh, there is a, a design uh, in the book stripes that is called um, Maya and but it's as much a sample to see where if the colors are working so let's see if I put this very close yeah what do you think Since uh, this yarn is that variegated and uh, has all different kinds of colors, I will show you. It has apricot. It's red and um, pink, yellow, orange, green and blue. Uh, I don't want this to pool, so that's why I'm thinking that I will stripe it. Well, we'll see if this is what it will turn out to be, but that was at least more fun than to finish a whip this morning. I've been casting on, as I said in the beginning, I've been casting on um, a Truvill sweater. And this one is for my mom. She's been wishing uh, a sweater in color work and she's chosen the colors herself this is bc yarn bc garn bio balance and i will stripe <laughs> uh, this green and this yellow and then there will be I have uh, red, pink, I have uh, blue, I have some scraps from other projects here in this um, yarn as well. So I haven't decided, I'm not good at planning my, my knitting, uh, especially when it's color work, like this for example, I had a ball full of scraps and I just improvised and I think it turned out great so that's what I'm gonna do with this as well hopefully it will be finished this summer so that my mom can use it uh, it's a, a well this yarn uh, is 55% um, uh, percent, percent pure organic wool and 45 uh, pure organic cotton so it's a little bit it's not that warm like Rama Finol it's a little bit more a summer 
garment uh, project. Yes, that's almost it actually. I also have a long term project this year. I've joined um, Mandy's Mouse Makes uh, Her Knit Along, uh, the West Knit Marathon. And um, yeah, she's knitting uh, nine different shawls or blankets from uh, Stephen West. I'm not sure I'm gonna do nine, but um, since the rules are uh, uh, very generous, I, I think I will qualify by finish two project this year. But I've started with the largest one and that's the star flanket and I had to buy another needle so that I because this is growing fast and I'm knitting this in uh, Ullcentrum, Öland Ullcentrum. This is the, our second biggest island in Sweden um, and they are... I know that Ruth loves to knit is... Um, have used this uh, wool or this yarn recently and mentioned it. I bought this yarn I think two or three years ago and it's been so precious that I haven't... I've started a lot of projects but then ripped it up. So, um, yeah. Here I am. And I'm enjoying this very much. And it's totally fine that it's taking a long time to knit up because I'm enjoying every stitch. This one that I'm knitting right now is a variegated yarn that goes from bright yellow to like burnt orange. Well that's some of my projects that, that I'm working on right now and um, thank you again for the positive response of my first episode. Please like and, and subscribe to show that you want more of, of my podcast. Um, I think I will uh, post every other week if not something happens, which it could do. Um, but now it's springtime and I'm trying to um, relax and enjoy the sun and the garden and um, soon it's summer and vacation uh, yeah uh, I I think I live in the paradise uh, how, out here in the country with the We have a lot of things, it's not that organized, but me and my husband is really enjoying starting projects after project and um, enjoying uh, our company and uh, creativity and this is a very joyful and relaxing place where I live right now and I'm very grateful for that. So I wish you a pleasant week and I see you soon. Goodbye. <laughs>